um, Sébastien Brunet, um, head of the Vallon uh, Institute for Evaluation, Perspective and Statistics, uh, will report, uh, we already heard a little glimpse of that last night, will report about quite encouraging recent developments um, in Vallon. Oui, Pedro Duarte is a member of parliament um, here in Portugal and will report uh, again about something that we have heard already little glimpses of, um, plans to, to develop technology assessment in parliament um, in Portugal. Then Mrs. Alena Gadjuskova or Mr. Sonka, depending on timing, uh, will explain about the current plans in the Czech Republic. Um, Leo Hennen uh, will again, in a way, harvest from last night's uh, presentation and spell out what, from that research done in Pachita, might be next steps to really build on that networked concept of TA. And finally, uh, David Cope, I'm very happy, uh, will extend the point that he just made in his question and look beyond Europe and report about his experiences with technology assessment in countries uh, far away. So those, that's the setup of the panel. I will ask each of those persons to speak for four minutes and they'll smuggle an extra minute um, to it then. And after that, uh, we turn to you. Uh, Sébastien Brunet, please. And, and you can use that mic if you push the button. Okay, yeah, brilliant. Uh, thank you. Just, um, I'm going to, to give you some news from uh, Wallonia uh, with TA. Yesterday, okay, yesterday we were expecting a good news to, to announce to you, but uh, uh, fortunately uh, the parliament uh, decided to, uh, to stop the procedure because of the elections. It was the last week for the discussion at the Walloon Parliament. So they said, OK, we will keep the dossier uh, in brackets and we will send for the next Parliament after the elections. But the process uh, started in 2008 uh, with um, Parliament resolution for, for, from the Parli Walloon Parliament due to a kind of um, in strong interaction between academics and uh, stakeholders and especially Pierre Delven, who was just building a very cross fertilization between parliament people, members, and uh, government, and also all other kind of academics, uh, other, other people from academic academia world. And at the end, the process came to the government, and now we are sure that for the next step, we will have a kind of TA, but we don't know exactly what kind of um, a structure it will be. And during the, the session this morning, we, we heard, heard a lot of things about foresight, perspective, linked to TA activities. And in such a uh, in such way, I think that we will have maybe for the one on parliament uh, a structure, a very light structure, giving the possibility for academics and people working in STS to give some enlightenment on issues like uh, healthcare, mobility, uh, and broad issues. And we will work like the German TA with a kind of a very strong relationship between the parliament and academic world due to our um, specific missions to uh, study the different issue on TA. And I would like to say that today uh, we, we think that um, People of the Parliament are very uh, supporting uh, the, the proposal and also the government, but also we have maybe a lot of work to do with the other part of the community, the scientific community in Belgium. And I think that we do have not a very strong academic uh, network yet, and we have to build a, a little bit more to, to strengthen. To strengthen the, the, the different academic who can be involved in the process.